Hello, I'm Dr. Brent Gibson, and today I want to talk to you about OCD lesions of the foot and ankle. Now, an OCD lesion stands for an osteochondral defect or osteochondritis desiccans that occur occurs most commonly in the foot and ankle on the talus. So if you look at this model here, the talus is the bone here at the ankle joint, and the most common location will be to the medial side. So to the, to this side of the ankle. And basically an OCD lesion is a lesion of the cartilage and bone due to necrosis or breakdown of the bone itself and loss of continuity. So you, instead of having the bone here, it's like having a fracture where the bone starts to separate. And it could be just a necrosis of the bone or death of the bone, similar to what we talked about with the Freiburg's infraction. Um, it can be a fracture where you've got the piece floating around and the joint fluid has access to the underlying bone um, or anywhere in between. The A lot of times the, it'll remain in the same location. It just starts to ha cause significant pain. So there are a couple different reasons why these can happen. It can be traumatic, like an ankle fracture or an ankle sprain. It can be vascular problems where you actually have a blood flow issues to that area. So you get a avascular type necrosis or poor blood flow to the area causing it to, to die. Um, really, it comes down to even some where they can't say exactly why it happens, but you have that lesion. And when you look on x-ray, you see a defect in that area and it causes pretty significant pain. So if you have an osteochondral defect or you're diagnosed with an osteochondral defect, there are a couple different options as far as treatment. Um, the best treatments, of course, are surgery because you actually fix the problem. And that can be done through a scope where they actually go in and clean up the area and, and do that. Or you could actually take cores of bone and put them back in that place to actually replace it. But the surgery that I recommend usually at this point in those areas, if you this, this keep this keeps being a problem after doing some conservative treatments of limiting motion and allowing to try to heal, is you could actually inject a, a scaffolding underneath it to help it repair. And you actually inject bone underneath and it creates a scaffolding and it causes the pain to go away and it allows to recover pretty quickly. The advantage of this procedure is it's less aggressive as far as surgery is concerned and less time to heal. So if you have an osteochondral defect, if you have pretty significant pain in your ankle or another joint where you are told that you actually have a necrosis of the bone or an OCD lesion or anything like that, I do recommend that you get evaluated and determine if that's what's going on and take the different options that you could be treated with, including injecting a scaffolding underneath, a bone underneath that will actually allow it to recover. This is Dr. Brant Gibson, and this is your Podiatry Tips, Day 123, OCD lesions or osteochondral defects, especially of the talus. These are very common. They happen more in men than in women, and they could happen because of injury or loss of blood flow to that area. Thank you.